Hello and welcome to the Info RP What's New session for the release 2024-04. I'm Natalia Ptashek and I am product manager for Info RP and I will walk you through the most important features part of the April release. First, I will provide you with the overview of Info RPA. Info RPA is a software part of InfoOS application. It allows the automation of the business processes which are repetitive, high volume, time consuming, and normally would be performed by your employees. And with Info RPA, those can be run by bots or software robots. It is a multi tenant cloud solution, which consists of multiple components. Some of them needs to be installed on your on premise devices, while the others reside in the cloud environment. Among those and components, we can distinguish RPE Studio, which is the IDE environment where you can prototype, develop, and test the RPE flows before deploying them. The other component is RPE Management, which is a brain behind the process's executions residing in the cloud environment. Automation of the processes allows freeing up your employees to focus on more creative and value-added activities. RPA can lead to significant cost savings by reducing the need for manual label. It also allows to minimize the errors and improve the overall process efficiency. With AP release as part of Info RPA, we are introducing the support of the desktop application automation. It will allow the employee the software robots to mimic the human interactions with test applications. Thanks for this feature, we can automate the processes in legacy systems and provide a smooth integration between the desk applications and web-based software. Let's deep dive into the desk automation feature. The on-premise applications often don't support the API integration, making it very difficult to integrate with other on systems in the cloud. The support of desk application automation tasks will allow to mimic user actions in on-premise software. As part of the solution, we are releasing the set of desktop activities in RPE Studio, a recorder, which will allow to record the steps for automation, an inspector to inspect the elements to interact with in on-premise applications. The desk application process automation, as any other process automation, lead to significant cost savings. This type of automation can also provide an integration bridge between the old technologies and the cloud-based systems. So let's see this feature in practice. Let's go to your recorder, part of RP Studio. Let's first open the application with which we would like to interact. For our example, it is Excel. And here we have to provide the file path to the .exe file of an application. That will open the application, and now we can start interacting with the elements of the application. So first, let's click on the blank workbook. As part of the UI recorder, we can delete any activities which were recorded by mistake. We'll go to the A1 cell and type in UI automation. And you see the Chevron icon, you can click on it and select the activity for the automation. Let's first stop the recording. You can do it at any time. Now review the activities, delete the ones which are not needed and save the recorded RPE flow. Once saved, it will be visible as part of your project files. First, you have to click and set it as main. You can also adjust the flow by adding extra activities. And for this example, we'll add the delay activity to give a delay of five seconds. First, we have to save it and then we can run it to see if it's all working. As you can see, the Excel spreadsheet is being open. And right now we'll see how the bot is typing in UI automation. Once the flow is run, we can go to the output panel part of RPE Studio and check out the logs. With April release, we are introducing a new set of automation activities in RPE Studio, which will allow the execution of the automation tasks with Microsoft 
365 ecosystem. Those activities leverage the Microsoft Graph API to enable the RPA bot to interact with the services offered by Microsoft 365, like SharePoint or Outlook. Thanks to those activities, RPA developer can automate the tasks like document management, email processing, and more. The interaction enhances the efficiency of RPA processes, which can streamline the automation tasks in Microsoft 365. While automating the email processing flow, which requires the access to your Outlook account, it was needed to install the Outlook application on the on-premise device where the flow would be either tested or executed in the production. For that, we introduced the new set of Microsoft 365 graph activities, which allows us to interact with your Outlook account as part of the cloud environment Microsoft Office 365. Those activities are part of the RPA Studio and are using the interaction with Microsoft Office 365 Graph APIs. Thanks for those activities, there is no need to install the Microsoft Outlook application on the on-premise device where the processes will be executed. So let's see those activities in practice. First, we'll show you the list of the activities we introduced in RPA Studio. Those graph activities can interact with your Outlook account as part of Microsoft 365. And now we'll show you quickly the flow. So we will read the list of the emails from your Outlook account with the subject equal to test. We'll get the attachments. We'll create the directory and store the attachment as part of this directory and later access the files from the directory, extract the key values like order number and customer number, and upload those documents to the IDM in for document management by providing those attributes extracted. At the end, we will show a message box. This is the email which we'll read with two attachments shown now on the screen and from those attachments we'll retrieve the attributes. Let's run the flow. Upon running the flow, you can see the outcome in the output panel, if the activity was successfully executed or not. The message box gave us the information that the document was uploaded. And now we'll see also the second message box, which also gave us information that those files were uploaded. Now we can check them in the IDM Info Document Management and see if the values were extracted accurately. 